Good morning, this is Andrew Mount for GG. It's Friday the 20th of December. Uh, I'm here in Leeds, ahead of day two of my William Hill radio stint. I'll be on air from round about uh, midday up until 8.30, the last at Wolverhampton. Uh, now, as well as Wolverhampton, we've also got a good meeting at Dundalk tonight. Not a track that I've discussed often on these videos, but there's a couple of systems that I like to employ there based on sires, and uh, I'm gonna talk about those today. The first one is the sire No Nay Never, who does particularly well here at Dundalk with his two-year-olds. Now, he actually shows a profit at all four polytrack venues with his juveniles, so that's uh, Lingfield, Chelmsford and Kempton, as well as Dundalk. And uh, there's one of these going in the first race tonight, the 445, Five Furlong Maiden. Now, Bombshell is the horse in question. She was well-touted here ahead of her debut last month, was a 9-4 to four shot. Could only finish 10th uh, of the 14 runners, though, but she was simply too green to do herself justice. Um, so with that experience behind her, with a tongue tie going on for the first time tonight, I think uh, Bombshell could enhance the good record of uh, No Nay Never Juveniles. So across all four polytrack venues, a profit of £15.82 if you'd back them blind. And uh, she's been well supported already today, 9-2 to two into 3-1 to one with William Hill. So the other sire that I particularly like here at Dundalk is Holy Roman Emperor. Now this one does particularly well with his three-year-old crop and um, over the seven furlong to extended ten furlong trips. Now if you'd back them blind, uh, say three-year-olds only over these trips, that's seven furlongs a mile and uh, the ten furlong trip, uh, 27 winners from 130 runners, a 21% strike rate and a profit of 56 pounds, 55 pence to a one pound level stake. Now, we've got um, four of them today. One of those is a newcomer, Magic Charm, who goes in the 715. Um, this one's around about 28 to 1, 33 to 1. No money yet, but it will be interesting to see if there's a late nibble. If so, I might be following the cash. But more interestingly, we've got three from the side going in the same race, the 815, which is the uh, handicap over the extended 10. Now, one of these heads the market, and that's Rockview Roman. Now, uh, he was switched to Polytrack for the first time here in October, uh, winning over course and distance at 16-1, to 1, and followed that with a 9-4 to 4 victory last month. Now, he's bidding to make it 3-3. Three from three. I think he can defy another wedge rise. He's drawn in store one round the inside, and not as bad as it's usually been at uh, recent meetings. And he's also one of only a couple in the race who likes to race anywhere near the front end. So he could enjoy the run of the race out in front. And I think Rockview Roman's going to take the beating. Uh, unfortunately, he's priced accordingly. As short as 13 to 18 places, uh, but a little bit of 2 to 1 available here and there. And now, the way to play the race might be to combine him in forecasts with um, the other two Holy Roman Emperor offspring, Follow Me, Follow You, who's uh, making her all-weather debut, and um, Summer Glamour, who's also uh, running on Polytrack for the first time. Summer Glamour's changed yards since her last run, so perhaps Follow Me, Follow You is the better of that pair. She was a good fourth of 18 in a Navin handicap last time out and is likely to improve for the switch to this surface for the first time. And so each way of 14 to 1 or in a forecast with Rockview Roman could be the way to play the race. That's it from me. Until tomorrow, until then, best of luck if you're having a bet. Cheers.